गाइस वेलकम टू चॉपिंग चैंपियन मैं हूं आपका दोस्त अनूप कामत टुडे इज इज गोइंग टू बी अ स्पेशल वीडियो एंड वी गोइंग टू शो यू लॉट ऑफ वेडिंग फूड दिस इज अ निकाह एंड देयर इज प्लेंटी ऑफ वेजिटेरियन एज वेल एज मुगलई फूड कुकिंग हियर दिस इज अ फार्म हाउस ऑन जीटी कर्नाल रोड एंड ऑल द अरेंजमेंट्स हैव बीन मेड सम ऑफ द प्रिपरेशंस आर ऑन इट्स फैंटास्टिक एंड द वेदर इज रियली गुड हियर Here you can see the preparation of nahari lots of chopped tomatoes spices and oil are mixed with meat in a dig and will be stewed for several hours there are 6 digs of nahari being prepared here here you can see tons of chicken cleaned and chopped for chicken fry a thick batter of basin and spices are poured over the chicken pieces then thoroughly mixed with hands the chicken is left in the marinade for about half an hour in hot oil this chicken pieces are scooped in and fried till they golden brown the chicken pieces are fried in batches in two large woks filled with hot oil spread on this large table after frying when the guests arrive the already fried pieces will be refried and served hot Meanwhile these three gentlemen are busy making the rotis the uncle is making small pedas out of the soft fermented dough the dough has milk and sugar in it the second man flattens the dough balls smears ample amount of white sesame seeds and then rolls them into perfect circles <laughs> The third guy slaps the roti between his hands and presses them inside the hot tandoor. These are doodh ki rotis and they are damp with ghee when they come out of the tandoor. These dates full of chicken pieces are for the korma preparation. This Mughlai dish is the ultimate comfort food when it's paired with a khamiri roti. The chicken pieces will be braised in curd, spices and oil. All the spices and the spice mixtures are ready here. Let's watch the korma making process.
A little away from this, the preparation for vegetarian food is going on. For the snacks, fresh puris are getting rolled and fried in hot oil here. Pani puri is a must in any wedding feast. Freshly made gulab jamuns are resting in the sugar syrup and alu tikki is getting made here. A spicy mixture of green peas and masalas are stuffed inside the potato mixture and rolled into perfectly round balls kept in this tray for frying. सर्विंग सिंस 2007 अपनी जो केटरिंग सर्विस है ऑल ओवर इंडिया है और हम लोग अब इंटरनेशनली प्लानिंग भी कर रहे हैं जैसे कि अपना सिंगापुर मलेशिया दुबई और वहां हम लोग अपना रेस्टोरेंट्स भी प्लान कर रहे हैं The sun has quietly gone down the urban horizon and it's night now. It's only around 7 pm. The venue is well lit up and it looks fab. The barbecue is getting ready and the spicy chicken tikka are put on the skewer. They have been marinating for quite a while. The chicken tikkas are slowly grilled over burning coal. The process requires a lot of patience and skill to make perfectly cooked tikkas. The Malay Tikka is another favorite here, but the most awaited and my favorite snack is getting prepared here, Sea Kebab. A mixture of chicken mince, spices, green chilies and cashews are slapped on the skewers and shaped into cylindrical kebabs. These are slowly grilled over coal till they get a golden brown exterior. The chicken tikkas are ready and the once fried chicken pieces are refried again, drained of the oil and it's going to be served fresh after a sprinkling of chaat masala on the top. The fruit counter is also ready and beautifully cut fruits are displayed here. Meanwhile, our chicken stew is ready. It really looks good and mouth-watering. The biryani is also ready to be served. So let's taste the food. So it is time to try our snacks now. So there is malai tikka, there is the spicy chicken tikka and lollipop chicken fry and the sea kebab. I am going to try the sea kebab first. Mm. It's 
perfectly cooked. It's so soft, succulent. You can see the green chilies out here. And I'm also told there are cashew nuts inside. So this is supposed to be a Turkish kebab. Mm. The wedding food is very different. These kebabs are different from what you get in Old Delhi. So it's a privilege to taste these kebabs. But now I want to taste the chicken tikka. Again you can see the texture of the tikka. It is charred from outside. Perfectly cooked on coal. Mm. The charred side of the tikka gives a nice smoky flavor. And this chicken tikka is superb. Very succulent, very juicy like the kebab. This is the chicken lollipop. It has been fried twice. You saw how it was made. Mm. The taste of the chaat masala gives it that zing, the added flavor. For all Muslim weddings, this is everybody's favorite. The chicken lollipop and chicken fry. So we have eaten enough of kebabs and tikkas. So let's try the korma and the stew. You can see the stew which is slightly whitish in color and you can see the korma. Both are chicken and this is dood ki roti. You can see the thickness of the roti. So I'm going to try a little bit of the gravy of this stew. It looks quite interesting. There are a lot of pepper, green chili and a lot of whole masalas. Mm. You can actually bite into whole peppers out here. So this is a different experience. This has been cooked for about 1500 people and this food is very different. Mm. Let's take a piece of the chicken with the stew, the gravy. Again, a lot of whole peppers and green chilies. That's what I love about this stew. Mm. So this is korma. You can see the korma. You saw how it was cooked. It's a lengthy process making a korma. The gravy is quite nice. Mm. Very different from the stew. And this korma is good. A lot of curd has gone into it. There's a lot of oil which has gone into it. And plenty of masala. But it's not spicy. And with this dood ki roti, it's a great combination. Chicken has cooked through quite well. Let's take a small piece of this chicken and eat. Mm. This food, I'm not exactly rating, but this is amazing food. And if you get a chance to taste this Mughlai Muslim wedding food, do it. You will really love this food. I hope you have liked this video. Please like and share the video. Till the next video, bye. Take care.